Oh, good morning, my fellow roughnecks. Have I got a short little treat for y'all down the land of severe narcotics use or schizophrenia or the late stages, the advanced stages of untreated syphilis. I'm, I'm not really sure anymore. But this is... This is little Joshy Lanto. Joshy Lanto doesn't quite look like this anymore. This will be the thumbnail, though. But this is what Joshy looks like now over the last few years. Oh, yeah, that, that right there, that is the effects of a lot of stimulants, much like his pretty much outward look on life. But I digress. Anyway, in this one, he's titled it Cherries and Berries, and he's going to start off with some insane shit. So I'm going to do my, my, my absolute best not to, you know, keep uh, interrupting, but he's going to make it hard. I can already tell that. Anyway, guys, I hope that y'all truly, truly enjoy this because just remember, it, it is absolutely insufferating, insufferable, suffering, thuckteth, having to to just listen to his voice to make one of these. And if you don't believe me, go at the retail in. That's for you, KFAR. I digress. Enjoy. Got some cherries and berries up here. So you know what time it is. You see them cherries and berries. You pull out a phone and record. That's what you do. Pull it. Uh, how about what you do is you go and get a job like a real freaking grown up because it looks to be the middle of the day. And why aren't you working somewhere? You know, maybe paying off some of your, you know, maybe raising your kids or, you know, maybe reimbursing the people that raise your kids with money out of their own pocket. Just checking, you know, but, you know, keep going. You're doing so great on the bath salts, Joshi. We're so proud of you. Tell Taco Bell we said hi. Pull that phone out and record. When you see the cherries and berries. Why are you walking? Oh, that's right. You don't have a driver's license. And they impounded your car. My bad, I forgot. Your hands are shaking a lot, Josh. Are, are you high? Oh, message held for review already. Oh, you be chilling. What up, you be chilling? Appreciate you coming in. I guess a middle finger emoji now gets flagged from uh, from YouTube. Oh, is that a, is that against your First Amendment rights for somebody not to be able to flip you off? Said message held. Kind of amusing. Eight people in here. Feel free to announce yourselves, and I will say hello to you while we're waiting to see. What we got going on up here? It looks like a traffic accident. You might recognize one if you were able to drive. We got eight people in here, only one person announced themselves. Oh, what up, Mikey D? Two people announced themselves. So that, uh, I'm guessing we got seven trolls. What up? You just said there's eight people in there. Two of them announced themselves. That would be six trolls. That would also be 75%. But keep it up. You're doing great, Joshy. Your mathematics is just fantastic. What's up, Yin Yang? Appreciate you coming in. Checking us out. Who the hell is us? So, uh, Oakland County, Michigan, guys. Oakland County, Michigan. Don't you have any, do you have any arrest warrants open on you out of that county? Just curious, a friend wanted, wanted to know. Trying to make sure all the cops out here get used to the fact that people will be recording them from now on. They will be recorded at all times. Josh, seriously, you need a 12-step program and a sponsor. It's not a joke anymore. You need help.
What's up, Harold Wadrup? It's over. I don't know what it's over is, but. This is probably referring to your damn custody cases. Catwatch isn't over. I don't know what's going on. I mean, it looks like just like an accident. Looks like, Looks like just an accident. accident. So, so maybe the cops are actually doing something helpful today. today. Maybe taking a report. It's a freaking traffic accident, you crack baby. Something like that. I mean, it's literally, look at that. It's one vehicle has T-boned another in the middle of the street. What does he think this is, entrapment? Compelling content, Joshy. Your your witty banter is just slaying me. Or are you too busy hitting your damn meth pipe? I think with that gap in between your teeth, you could hold the meth pipe in there, light it, and still talk at the same time. Boy, it was really got uh, traffic is uh, really slow right now. Yes, because it's a traffic accident, you moron. Josh, you're killing me. Yeah, Michigan. It's been raining like crazy the last week and a half. Only had a couple days actually without rain. You need to do something about that cricket phone, man. Or your Obama phone. Whatever that shit is that you're using, you need an upgrade. But then again, you need a job and a sponsor, so I digress. It's been killing me on a watcher, yo. Professional cop watcher. How? A professional cop, a professional is literally the definition, is the term that's used when one performs a, a specific task or skill set for profit. We know what you make a month from doing this. So how are you a professional anything besides deadbeat father? and domestic abuser just inquiring minds want to know all right it looks like these guys are wrapping up well feel free to join the channel for a fuck a month then why would we want to give you money for your dead ass content or we could go to your uh joshy socks channel and watch you freaking sexualize innocent women you sick bastard that could be a professional cop watcher go out there get you could also be a father but you won't keep an eye on things for you guys we don't need you to keep an eye on shit we don't want to see the world through your eyes especially as freaking blown out as your pupils are for meth use i'm sorry you can't afford meth bath salts sorry all right looks like nothing eventful is going on guys so i think yeah heaven forbid that the two people that were involved in the motor vehicle collision are okay i mean yeah, sorry you, you didn't get to scream and cuss at some cops because they're only doing their job. I'm so sorry for your, your hard life, Joshy. I'm going to cut on out of here. I got some stuff to do, plus I am starving. Well, I mean, I hear that they've refilled your dumpster behind Wendy's if you're hungry. And by stuff to do, what do you mean? You got to meet your dealer back there? I am absolutely famished. So I'm going to go grab me some food, guys. I uh, appreciate anybody for coming. Bath salts is not food. Coming in. Let's see. Just run through. Damn, you forgot to ask him for name and badge number. You're slipping, Josh. I'm in the 20s. I don't know what that was. Uh, anyways, uh, our guy, appreciate you coming in. Ying Yang, for, uh, Ying Yang News Now, appreciate you coming in, as always. Teresa Lynn, what is up, Teresa Lynn? Or shall we say how Kevin says it, Teresa Lynn. <laughs> wow, he's even giving his own little shout-out to KFAR. Let's listen to that again. Right? Uh, Ying Yang News Now, appreciate you coming in, as always. Teresa Lynn, what is up, Teresa Lynn? Or shall we say how Kevin says it, Teresa Lynn. Teresa Lynn.
Michigan's greatest enabler. Right? Oh, he got demonetized, by the way, if I didn't tell anybody. My good friend Kevin, he's a troll. And he's not a troll. Unlike you, he's a lot of things that you aren't. He's a good father. He's a good husband. He's a good provider. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. He doesn't abuse his wife. He takes care of his children. He doesn't do meth. He doesn't do naughty things behind a Wendy's at a dumpster for $4 to buy more meth. So if KFAR's a troll, I'll roll with the trolls any day. And uh, he got demonetized because he steals other people's content. Imagine that. No, he doesn't. What we, you know, for somebody who claims to be a constitutional, whatever the, the, the chili phrase is of the day, for somebody that claims to be out there fighting for the Constitution, maybe you want to learn what the Constitution means. And by doing that, maybe you ought to learn about acts, more specifically the Fair Use Act. And tell me what that says. Imagine that one, huh? I accuse the guy of stealing content, and he tries to tell me I don't understand how fair use works. Because you don't. Hmm. Well, it uh, it appears like you don't know how fair use works either, dummy. Because he got your channel demonetized, and then he dude, his channel may be demonetized, but his channel's still making more money than yours. So you, I don't really see how you have any place to run your mouth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not your mouth. Your meth earner. He's on my Facebook today, right? The cyber stalker guy. He's on my Facebook today. You're going to accuse somebody else of cyber stalking when you roll into people's chats in 18 different sock accounts just to make fun of them or say some very ungentlemanly things to women or other men's wives. Why is that? Because you don't have a wife because no woman would marry your little junky meth gremlin ass. And it's like, dude, get a job already. You got a family. You got kids to support. Get He's got a house that's paid for. He renovates constantly. He constantly improves his world. Why are you so jealous of KFAR? Oh, that's right. I know because not only is he everything that you're not, he's a better brother to your own sister than you are. And by proxy, he's probably a better father to your children than you are. And that's just really sad, Joshy. Get a job. Dude, wow. Kettle, this is pot. You guys should meet. You're standing in the middle of the road. I'm sorry, you're standing on the side of the road in the middle of the day recording a traffic accident. I don't even know what you pay in child support a month. I mean, I didn't know that you could give roll change to pay for one's children, but okay, fair enough. But you're going to sit there and tell him to get a job when he makes money? You can't even keep a job at Wendy's, and you're in your damn 40s. Pitiful. Pitiful, Joshy. I even offered to have the dude come help me at work. And what? Washing dishes at Taco Bell? Why the hell would he do that? He makes real money. And the reason that it's okay that his channel is demonetized because of scumbag false reporters like you is because he has this thing called a savings account. And it's not the kind of thing that you little sod sit idiots think it is either. He actually, what he did was he opened a bank account. He put money in it. And they gave him money over time to keep it there. It's not one of you little soft super secret government accounts that has like X amount of dollars in silver in it that nobody knows about. But somehow it's real. Wow, the, the delusions of a meth gremlin. And he said no. What a loser, huh? Anyways, guys. Yeah. All right, that's where we'll end it. But apparently my friend and my brother... My battle buddy, K4, is a loser because Joshy said he was, even though that Joshy so badly wants to be K4. I mean, let me show you the Father's Day card that he sent K4 for Father's Day. I mean, it was incredible. I was actually a little, I was a little proud of him for doing it. I truly, truly was. Here we go. Oh, look at happy Father's Day. I love you, KFAR. You are my hero. Love, Joshy. That just makes my, that just makes my little, that, that little blood thing in my chest go pitter patter. It was so sweet, Josh. We're so proud of you. I mean, granted, he's he thinks that 
he's so stupid that he thinks that because KFAR lives rent free in his head, that that's stalking. And, and I couldn't, I couldn't disagree more, but you know, what does that matter? I'm sober. So, and I'm a better father and husband than he'll ever be. And uh, it's nobody's fault, but his own. Anyway, Roughnecks, I'll see y'all in a little while. I'm out. Yeah.